what has this week been like for you? <laughs> It's been uh, it's been interesting, um, difficult in one sense as obviously I've known Coach Doyle for some time and she's a, a close friend of mine. Uh, to see her go down with the with the with the, what she's dealing with on a personal level uh, and as a physical level uh, was challenging. But at the same time, uh, it's that time of year. Uh, the rest of our staff and, and myself included knew what we needed to do, the challenges ahead, and how did we really come together and really just come a little bit closer, uh, a little bit more functional together. And I think that's kind of been indicative of how the girls played tonight. They played a lot better as a unit uh, than they have at least in recent games. And uh, I think it's, it's been a challenge in the sense, but it's been something maybe that uh, has sparked them to kind of them against the world type mentality. You know, just another thing that happens. I mean, we're on the bus ride up and Brandon may have told you we have something go wrong with our bus. You know, it's just another thing that it's just another hurdle that uh, Valpo women's basketball is going to overcome. And our challenge is to, is to be here as long as they'll let us be here and let us keep playing as long as we'll keep playing. And uh, we're looking forward to doing that. So that's been our mentality the whole time. It's pretty close. I mean, it was, it was, it was, certainly wasn't perfect as you watched and saw there was plenty of mistakes to go around for both teams, I think. But, uh, in the end, I think us, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, was the ability to get both of our players off early. Uh, and I think we did a good job of kind of frustrating uh, Loyola's counterparts in that regard and not letting them get off to as good a start. So again, the first basket of the game, we go right into Danny Franklin. Now she feels better about herself. Next time, or two plays down later, we get, uh, we get uh, a Meredith Hamlet, a great shot, and that goes for her. So we were able to get our two players off to a quicker start, jumped out to a, you know, it was a smaller lead, obviously, early in the game. But that's a, once they're kind of involved and engaged, the rest of our team kind of follows suit. And you can see that tonight. Again, we had some good things off the bench. Uh, Nicole Kinesny played a great game for us tonight. Should have been up there walking with the all-freshman team, quite frankly, uh, in my opinion anyway. Um, and then Grace Hales did some good things for us in the first half as well to kind of lead us. And, and when, we would do, when we would stall, we had great production in, on the bench to kind of keep us at least pushing along so we never quite lost that lead. And that speaks to your wire-to-wire uh, -wire comment, as you mentioned. <clears throat> your thoughts on the Uh Great. You know, I mean, they're, they are that reason for, the, you know, 18-0, and 0, is it 40 in a row, whatever it is, Brandon. But, look, I mean, they play basketball just like we do. You know, we have to go into that mentality. Uh, we have to play better than we did at home. Uh, we were very, very poor in our defensive effort. Uh, the last time we played Drake, I think offensively, we did some of the things we wanted to do. But if you can't defend Drake or slow down their transition, uh, you know, nobody's going to touch them, and that's the way it's been in conference most of the year. So... Now our job will be to come up as a, as a staff tonight, come up with a uh, new game plan, a, a different game plan, if you will, to kind of limit their transition, uh, see what we can do on the offensive side to accentuate the positives that we had in the last game. And again, we're going to ride our best players, Danny Franklin, Meredith Hamlet, and Nicole Kinesny, and Grace Hales. We're going to look at them and, and see what they can bring for us, and uh, we'll count on them. But uh, uh, if I had to guess right now, I think you'll see a, a different game tomorrow. Uh, by no means am I saying that uh, we're predicting a victory by any stretch of the imagination, but I do think we're going to be a lot more competitive and our, and our kids are feeling good, and I think and, and hope it translates to the court tomorrow. Coach, looks like that's it. That's well. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate the time. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Mike.